What's up you guys? Hey yo, uh, I know this is a very quick addition to my channel. After the last one I told you I was on a little of a funk uh, for the past couple weeks. Wow, I look like I'm sleep deprived. Oh, you know what? It's the camera. See? There's a shadow being cast by the camera. Okay, let's do this. Let's stand this way. Don't let the, cam don't let the camera cast a shadow on my face. Okay, that looks better. Yeah, it's nice lighting actually. Okay, so what is going on? I thought I would shoot a little video for you guys. Now, of course, it happened very quickly. Um, so I started the video, I started recording, I started explaining everything, and I never actually shot an intro. So this is my intro. This is actually after, I'm shooting this after I shot what you're gonna see, if that makes any sense at all. Um, some of the strange occurrences here at work. It's not gonna be very long. At least I hope it's not. Anyway, uh, give it a watch. If you have any explanations and what or whatever, you know, give me a little comment. Let me know. So shoot me a comment, short or long. I don't really care. I'll read it. I'll I'll read it and I'll try to answer it. On if you have a question about something to make to make it clear as to what I'm talking about, again, leave a comment and I'll reply to it. Um, I did mention why I stare over this way occasionally. It's because I the screen is over here, but um, I'll explain that. You'll see it. Um, while I'm at work, you'll notice I look that way sometimes or to the side. Depends on where I am in the shop. Right there is the front door. When I look that way, see? That's the front door. Now, we are actually open. I'm, it's open for business right now. Um, so when I see somebody walk by or people outside, I tend to look at the door because to keep track and see if they're coming in. Um, this is a place of business and that's why. But it's a little downtime right now. There nobody, hasn't been anybody coming in, so I decided to shoot this little video for you. Um, so give us a watch. These are some of the strange occurrences that have happened here in the shop. I'm not going to say paranormal. I am actually an atheist. Um, I have a different theory about the paranormal, but uh, we won't get into that. I'm just give, telling you the little bits of the weird stuff that's happened here in the shop. So give it a watch, and uh, I hope you I hope you have you can find some enjoyment out of watching it. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I might be able to answer, I'm leaving in the comments. I'm going to try to get back to you. If something I said wasn't clear and you want to make clear a particular situation I mentioned, just to see if you might have an answer for it, uh, again, everything in the comments. Everything into the comments. Into the comments. I, am, I, I will get to them. I swear to you I will. I don't get that many. I get maybe like one. Just don't flood it like crazy if, you, if people are saying this. So give it a watch, and I'll... Catch you guys next time. Peace. Okay, so I'm minding my own business, sitting behind the chair over there, checking out something on Facebook, and I hear a clunk. And I come over here and see this. This door is opened. Now, we don't keep this one in particular locked. Um, there's nothing in here to take. These are all empty boxes, but here's the weird part. You see how these are kind of not lined up, like they've been pushed out? And then there's one that fallen down here. One of these boxes like this one. That doesn't just fall off. When this door is closed, there's very little room between this door and this piece of glass. That's the shelf. But look. It's like something has pushed out. I know we keep these pretty straight. Like those right there. I push, stack them all in. Why has this been pushed out? And I very quickly looked around to see if there was a mouse or a rat or something. And I didn't see anything. Um, kind of crawling under the rug, little carpet there. No, there's nothing under there. At least I don't think there is. No, there's nothing there. What pushed that out? You see, again, these boxes look like they've been pushed out. And then there's this box up here, and for some reason, the one that's fallen down there. 
again that makes no sense if I'm gonna show you what happens if you try to push one of these boxes out you try to push this box out what does it do it falls to the floor like look at right there that's fairly fl this right here the glass is flush with the inside so I've just pushed them all back straight, stacked the boxes back up. I wonder if there's something I pushed it. They, no, these are straight now. I'm gonna close this now. During the warm season, this doesn't stay closed very well. I understand that. Oh, it's not staying closed at all this time. But something pushed the boxes. I'm gonna have to lock this. What freaking pushed the boxes? Now, this is not the first time something odd has happened in here. Um, I have come in in the morning and to look at the humidor to see cigars on the floor. So naturally, what do I think? It's a full box that had a couple cigars sitting on top. You know, when I refill the box, um, when I refill a box and put and there's and there's like maybe one or two cigars extra that goes on top of the entire stack so this is not the first occurrence to have happened here at work uh, it hasn't happened in a while but there were some mornings I would come in and I'd walk into the humidor and on the floor I'd find cigars so naturally what do I think cigars fell out of the box okay there are cases when we refill cigars and they get full like this or some boxes like this they like get up to the top and there's maybe one or two left from the previous box that I'll just kind of sit on top uh, and so, some boxes have a lip like this you see there's a little lip there so you can actually put another one on top and it kind of stays right some box, some of the shelves on in here are flat completely so the cigars will just sit there so the cigars that were on the floor, I pick them up, I go to the box that they came out of, and not only are they not full, they're like this. You see, there's like plenty of space in there, or there's even cases where there's like no cigars in the box, so pretend these aren't here. Imagine this box is like has maybe one or two, and the cigar on the floor comes from a box like that. What? put the cigars on the floor. See, here's a full box right here. Right there, see? Now this doesn't really have the greatest lip. However, if you get a cigar and put it in the middle of the other ones, yeah, see? You see, there's enough of a lip to hold that there. Now if a strong wind were to come through for some reason, it can knock it off. If you were to pump the box, it can knock it off. But if cigars like this, you know, if this, you see there's uh, four missing from this box. When they're sitting in the box, there's no real way for them to come out like that. That'd be a pretty big earthquake. Or something. So, that's an occurrence. Um, also, the other night, uh, not the other night, last week. Last week, I was sitting in here after hours in the back lounge, watching TV. There was nobody here. And our door looks like this. See, It's kind of an older-fashioned door and has one of these kinds of handles. Oh, it's bright outside has one of these kinds of handles. You see the one of those curved things? So, I'm sitting in back watching some TV after hours and I hear on the door. Two seconds I'm up, nobody's at the door. I, run, I open, unlock the door, go outside, nobody's outside. Now either somebody was able to make it out very quickly and they're playing a prank on me or something tapped the door. Now, what else is there? What else is there? What else is there? These wooden these little lounge chairs here these are made of wood okay covered in leather cushion uh foam padding 
and springs. Anybody who has wooden furniture knows there are two distinct sounds in that, that come from these chairs. One, when somebody's sitting into it, application of pressure, and one, when people, when somebody's getting out of it, the release of the pressure. This particular one, now, they look almost identical, I know. But this one has always been here. This one's always been here, as far as I know. Now, it doesn't matter which chair in particular, but why do I say this one? This one is in a very odd position, because this one in particular, whichever chair is here, now it's always these kind of, not, not the wing backs that we have in back, like right there, I'll show you those in a sec, but the one that always sits over here, in this side, sometimes during the day, it sounds like somebody sits in it. Well, what do I mean? Here, let's set this camera up. A little tripod. So, I'll get closer so you can hear it. Sitting down. Getting up. Now, maybe some of you can hear the difference, some of you cannot. Uh, I can hear the difference. I can tell you there is a difference. Sometimes during the day, it makes a creaking sound, application of pressure, somebody sitting into it. What else is happening here? So, I'm gonna show you. This is the lounge. Now, this lounge used to have a very different configuration. This sectional was not here. This only came in about six months ago, seven months ago. For a long time, there was a second one of these, okay? Now, they used to be in that corner. This black chest was in that corner, and the two couches ran this way and this way with that black chest in the corner, kind of like a table. These two wing backs used to sit over here in this little alcove, one in each of the corners. There used to be a little table right in the middle. At one point, we moved the couches like this. There's, this one has been here for a while. There, and the other couch sat on that wall. These two wing backs were against this wall with that chest right in the middle because TV is up here. Now, one of these in particular, let's see which one did I used to sit on all the time? That one. That one. Okay, so that chair. You can tell the butt cushion's a little different on both of them. That one used to sit over here closest to that corner. This one used to sit on that side. So they were basically switched diagonal. Now, back when it was like that, these two chairs were there and there was this couch over here, okay? I used to sit in this one, on this, the one closest to the, to the back wall. So I'd sit over here, I could watch the TV. On one particular night, and several times it actually happened, I would sit watching TV. Uh, I flipping through. We have an Apple TV, so I'd be flipping through YouTube. Uh, my buddy leaves, and I'm the only one here. About 15 minutes after he leaves, I kid you not, somebody sits down in that chair. It didn't happen just once either. It happened uh, quite a few times. Um, Again, the sound of application of pressure, pressure being put on the wood furniture. I got, again, you got to remember, these this chair, this new sectional, newer sectional, hasn't made any noise, any odd noises. Now, this old wooden furniture, like these wing backs, have. Again, if you have this kind of wood furniture, leather and whatnot, springs inside, you know there's a difference between some the sounds of somebody sitting in it and somebody getting up out of it. Uh, on a number of occasions, I'd be sitting, uh, maybe about, you could say my head was like right here, and I'd be watching TV. And that particular chair, that's the one that used to be over there. I would hear somebody sitting down. Of course, I'd turn my head and look. 
that was one of the weird ones. And it kind of creeped me out a little bit. After after a few times of it happening, I was just kind of like, eh, you know what? So I started talking to it. Yeah. We're all a little psycho. Just to what extent are we? Now, what's the first occurrence that ever happened here? The first oddest thing. The weirdest thing. I am sitting... Actually, it's in, that was it's still in the, it was, that was during the old configuration when the two wing backs were over here on this side and this side, okay? And there was a couch. There was that one couch that was over here, and that couch is still there, okay? So I'm sitting watching TV. Nobody is here. Nobody. Uh, it's later in the evening. Maybe it was about ten o'clock in the evening, eleven o'clock. Sorry, I'm opening the legs to my tripod here so you can set you up a little bit. Now. I am here. Okay, so sorry, I had to cut you out there so I could uh, rearrange this thing. So I'm sitting there. There's a closet over here. Okay. I am sitting on the chair. I'm flipping through YouTube. I'm kind of reading some of the titles. There's no noise in here, and I suddenly hear this. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if the camera picked it up from over here, but what was that sound? So I come over here, open the closet door, and I look, up there's a skylight, and there's a rod, where the, oh, come on, clear up, where the handle is right here. Now you see, I swung this to hit the shelf, so I, you, I can mimic the sound that I heard, and when I came in to look, that's what it was doing, okay? It was rocking back and forth like that. This closet is not very big. Okay, there is no chance wind blew through there. The only opening in this door is at the bottom. I mean, that opening is like this big too. Um, and it opens up to the skylight, see? Now this opening for the skylight is not very big in here. See, it's like that, okay? You know, some would say wind blew th through there and did, it. it was a gust of wind. But I've stood inside that closet with the skylight open even with the transient window open above the door on the windiest of nights and there's barely a breeze in there so what moved that rod you know I keep asking myself these questions about what moved it that was the first time anything weird happened um, kind of threw me for a little bit I was a little shocked uh, goosebumps and everything so that's pretty much the only weird... Th oh, no, there was a time when some friends and I were watching TV, and we saw this... We were watching this uh, this uh one of those killer clown series things, and after the video... Well, not even at the end of the video. The TV just shut off. The TV alone, not the Apple TV. You know, the TV is like a receiver for the Apple TV, and the TV itself went off. Um, I can tell you right now, we were we were a little scared about it um but for the past couple of years a f couple friends and i have been doing our own little investigations in here i have an emf detector we have a sound recorder uh i have a night vision camera but it's a piece of junk um it hasn't really worked so we've just been relying on sound recorder and evp stuff uh and of course we tag things and whenever the evp is spiking weird um i tag it on the sound recorder Give out, give, uh, record what the reading on it is. Um, that's pretty much it. Pretty much the weirdest things that have happened in here. Nothing really more than that. Just little things, nothing huge. Like, there isn't a cup flying across the room. You know, none of that stuff. But, um, yeah, that's... I thought I'd just record a little bit of that since that's something just happened. And that's why I'm kind of questioning what happened. Um, thought I'd put that in there and give you guys a little update about that. I don't know why. It's not my normal vlog stuff. I'm not, I don't want to vlog paranormal stuff. Um, I have an interest in it. Yes, I'm an atheist. Yes, I have an interest in the paranormal. But I have a very different explanation for it or theory about it. Um, but we're not going to get into that. And please don't start a debate on here. I don't really want to do a debate. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm 
just thought I'd give you a little heads up with some things that are going on in here. And again, I apologize if I'm looking over to this side a little bit every now and then because the screen is over here. You know what? Let me show you. Go to the bathroom and show you on a mirror why I look over here sometimes. You see? That's the kind of camera I'm using. Oh, crap. There it is. You see, I'm using a camera like that. It's got the screen over here on the side. Some guys, some people have the ones that have up on top of the camera, and it's a, you know you look like you're still looking at the camera, but um, I'm still getting into the habit of staring at the lens and just using peripheral to see the screen. But that's pretty much it, and I hope you know, like I said in my last video, I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, uh, healthy to the best of your abilities. Um, don't take anything for granted. All right, don't take anything for granted. Appreciate what you have. Don't dwell on what you don't have. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.